Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are doing a road to the championship rebuild for the 2018-2019 New York Knicks. Uh, pretty much what this is, is we keep on going with this rebuild until we win the NBA championship. So if everything goes well, this video could be like half an hour. If not, it could be like an hour or two hours long if uh, things really get difficult out there for us. I am trying to get this series, these type of videos, to 1,000 likes. If you do like these, be sure to drop a like on this video. I definitely do really appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. So basically, man, for this first season, uh, we do have Chris Thomas Porzingis with that torn left ACL just because that's an injury he does have in real life. And it's probably going to affect his next NBA season. So to get like a more like realistic um, record and stuff like that, we are definitely going to be dealing with that situation out there. Um, but yeah, as far as the rest of this team goes, this first season is all about like developing talent. I mean, Ennis Cantor, he, he's already a really good player. Uh, but pretty much I'm talking about like Frank Nilakina, who I really do think can take that next step this NBA season, either as the starting point guard um, or maybe a six man off the bench, depending on what other players we get out here. But definitely want to be committed to Frank Nilakina for this rebuild. Uh, Mario Zonja got you know, a new like breath of life out there for the New York Knicks. Now he's off the magic. And then you got Kevin Knox. Now, Kevin Knox, this man been tearing up in the summer league, guys. Like, absolutely looking like he's going to be a great player out there. So, he's going to be getting a lot of minutes this NBA season. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you got Mitchell Robinson. Now, when I, when I look at this dude right here, had a lot of injuries. Did not really play any college basketball. I believe he did. It was a very limited amount. I don't know his whole situation. Uh, but, like, watching, like, his highlights and stuff, I definitely see him as, like, an Andrew Bynum type of player. Who, got, who remembers Andrew Bynum from the Lakers and 76ers? I want you to go out there, just be strong in the paint, grab some rebounds, play some defense, and throw down those uh, slam dunks every now and then, Mitchell Robinson. Just don't, you know, uh, don't be like Andrew Bynum in the sense of getting bad injuries and having to have your career be ended very early. So we'll try to avoid that. Ron Baker, Lance Thomas, guys like that, man. But yeah, so basically, uh, develop young talent, get rid of bitch-ass contracts. And then, of course, going into free agency, you know, seeing these player contracts, man, we can get rid of some of these bad ones right here. Um, some upcoming free agents, Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Butler, Clay Thompson. If I can get one of those guys, I'll be happy. If I can get two of those guys, I'll be ecstatic to put alongside Chris Thomas, Porzingis, and Kevin Knox. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead, go to this trade finder, get things going with this. First trade I'm looking at, probably Courtney Lee, just because, like, we don't really need him at all on this team. Like, he's just going to take a minute from some of the other guys out there. So, uh, definitely want to trade him away for an expiring contract, if possible. Um, also, I do not want to trade away Mitchell Robinson either. So, as far as trades available, there we go. Yo, Terrence Ross, um, yeah, he does not have a team or player option. So, we'll just do that. Terrence Ross will walk at the end of this NBA season. That's fine. Probably not complaining minutes at all for us this season anyway. Um, then next up, I'm thinking, um, I definitely want to get rid of bitch ass Noah. I don't know if it's going to be able to happen like this season or next season. At least after this season, it will be an expiring con Yeah. I ain't gonna get no freaking Lou all day. I'm not doing that trade. That's for damn sure, man. So that's not gonna happen. I'll wait off on Joking Noah. That's fine. Um, so yeah, let's go to our roster because I'm thinking I'm going I'm going to put Trey Burke as a backup shooting guard. Um, I definitely want Vanilla Kina to start for us this season. And then Moutier will be the backup point guard of this team. Kevin Knox as small forward. Tim Hardaway is gonna start his zone as a backup small forward, I'm thinking. So we'll do that. And uh, let's do this real quick. Toss around these two guys. And yeah, man, so this team is going to be straight up trash. Because, like, Chris Tops Porzingis, as the simulation goes, I will put him back in the lineup when he's completely healthy. But it might get to the point where he just does not play at all. So uh, that definitely is a possibility. I also do want to do this. Um, I want to go ahead, since Mitchell Robinson does not really play college basketball, put him inside the G League. Try to develop him right there. So we'll assign him to the G League. Um, as far as other players to put in there, you can't really see. I guess Alonzo Trier. We can't uh, sign him for the remainder of the season. Okay, I don't got room for him. Never mind. That's not going to happen. All right, so yeah, just Mitchell Robinson inside the G League. Not going to worry about anybody else in there just because realistically it probably would not happen. So, yeah, man, uh, this team looks horrendous. But guess what? It's going to be good next season. We can get some big name free agents. Let's go ahead, simulate this first NBA season and see just how bad this team can really do. Uh, hopefully, we end up with a top pick in the NBA draft. Okay, so a record at 19 and 62, which is last place in the Eastern Conference. Uh, Chris Thomas Porzingis did not even play at all this season. It got to the point where it just not makes sense at all. We got Chris Paul getting MVP, uh, Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year, Vucevic, Six Man, Andre Drummond, Chris Dunn, and Mike Daytona gets more awards out there. Here's the rest for you guys to see real quick here. Um, not expecting the New York Knicks, although all rookie first team, no Kevin Knox, all NBA second, he's on there, so happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these player stats real quick here before we get into the NBA draft and things like that. 
So Neil Akina actually did take that next step. I mean, 17 points, three rebounds, six assists. Those are really good numbers. Like, I'm definitely happy about that. Kevin Knox at 16 points, four rebounds, three assists, one steal, and one block per game in his first NBA season. Uh, Mario Zonja, good, like, backup uh, small four numbers, I suppose. Was hoping for a little bit better in the scoring department, though. And then we got... Um, Mitchell Robinson now at a 77 overall. So his stats, let's see what they're looking like these days. Damn, dude, if he can be a beast for us, like, real quick, that's going to be that's gonna save us so much money not having to sign, like, a big-name center. So look at his stats real quick. Um, yeah, not much of a mid-range game. No three-point shot, of course. Stanley Dunk at a 77. Um, post game, not really existent. Defensive offense rebound is pretty damn solid. And it looked like he got a good low post defense. 78 shot blocks. So yeah, he'll be fine for us. He'll be exactly what I want him to be out there. Uh, let's simulate these playoffs real quick. We got to do some things with the staff signing. Make sure we get David Fizdale back. Because I think his... Is, is he on a one-year deal? Or is it multiple... Is, is it a multiple-year deal? Uh, we do have the Toronto Raptors sweeping the OKC Thunder with um, Kawhi Leonard getting that finals MVP. So good for Toronto out there. And good for Kawhi Leonard. Um, so yeah, staff signing. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much good with Fizdale as a head coach. Uh, I think he did a great job for the Memphis Grizzlies. Yo, actually, yo, I want to be a little longer than that. My bad. There we go. I'm going to give him that. Yeah, give him that four-year deal. We'll give him that. Um, also, trainer, he is at a C-. minus. That's a bitch-ass number right there, man. Yo, how are you going to get a C- minus and be a trainer? That's like me getting a freaking D-plus in accounting and then freaking running the head, like, head accounting department at like a big-name firm. It just does not make sense. Come on, Lynch. I'm going to give you a nice contract, bro. Come on, Lynch. Come to this Knicks team. Develop that young talent with that A training. That means three training camps. Definitely want all those. And he accepts us. We'll sign him. Fizdale's still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Come on, man. And sign him up. All right. I guess now we're just going to go ahead and uh, see like who we can get inside the NBA draft. I have no idea what pick we have. But hopefully it's decent. Okay, so this is absolutely amazing, guys. We ended up with the first pick in the draft. We do have eight trade offers, so we definitely got to check those out. I mean, this means the plan is going exactly how it needs to go. It's like, you know, tank this season. Uh, then get Chris Stiles, Porzingis, get that top pick. Try to get Jimmy Butler and Kyrie Irving. This is absolutely perfect, guys. Uh, not really liking these players. Um, this trade's not too bad because we do get rid of bitch-ass Noah, but we got to take out Bogdan Bogdanovich. I really don't need him at all. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to go out here and choose somebody. So we got Siku, who is number one ranked player. RJ Barrett, who I actually think is probably more of a shooting guard. He's 80 overall. Um, yeah, I would definitely start him as shooting guard from Duke. We got Zion Williamson. Thing is that we don't really need him. Like, I, I do like Zion, guys. Don't get me wrong. It just does not make sense to take him because we already got Kevin Knox at the uh, small forward position. So, I like Josh Green a lot, too. But uh, I think I'm going to go with RJ Bear and probably put him as a starting shooting guard and see what we can do for us. Looks like he got a nice three-point shot, so that will be great for spacing. Uh, so, yeah, man, let's go ahead and take him with our pick in the draft. Okay, so rookie signings, 80 overall. Absolutely unbelievable for us. Here's a better look at his stats. Looks like he's going to be a very nice scorer. Um, this also means we can probably trade away Tim Hardaway to save up a lot of money. So, we got a really good young rookie for a really good price. Um, so, yeah, sign him up. Team player option. Uh, Ron Baker wants to come back. Not accepting that option on Lance Thomas. Um, qualifying offers. Uh, yeah, Chris Dobbs, if he signed that, that would also be great. Emmanuel Moutier, not going to offer that to him. Save a little bit of money. Um, more touring period. Okay, so before we do this, those are the free, free agents out there. Uh, but I am going to trade away the bitch-ass contracts now so we can free up some more cap space. So, Joakim Noah, that's a nice trade for us to get that second-round pick from the Bucks. And who knows, maybe Noah will uh, hit the uh, fountain of youth and be actually a good starting center for the Milwaukee Bucks. I actually do like that fit a lot, too. Like, if he was to play well. Uh, trade finder, okay. Next up, definitely got to be, uh, yeah, Tim Hardaway. We just don't need him anymore, man. Just don't need him. He got a player option, and, you know, I would ideally take a draft pick for him. This is not actually not too bad. Jair Smith... Um, and TJ McConnell, Ersan Ilya Sullivan, no. All right, what else we got here, man? Come on. That first trade definitely is winning for me so far. Spencer Zimbabwe, that's, wow, that's actually a really good offer, but uh, I, don't, I don't really see the Nets doing that, so come on, man. Come on, man. Who else we got? Luke Kennard, I don't want John Lewis. Do not want his contract. Brandon Knight, no. Steven Adams, uh, not giving him Kevin Knox. Hell no, nah, baby. Seth Curry, Evan Turner, no. Jordan Bell, Okay, yo, the uh, Warriors get a really good score and Tim Hardaway, especially if uh, Chris Thomas Porzingis went to a different team. And we get probably our backup center in Jordan Bell. I like that trade a lot. Only $1.48 million. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Assuming that Clay Thompson leaves the team, that's actually really, that's a pretty good trade for the uh, Golden State Warriors. All right, so Kyrie Irving, definitely on top of my list of players to get. Going to give him the player option, three plus one year. 
and I wish I could offer him more. I don't know why 2K does not allow me to, but uh, yeah, man. So he's going to get that offer. Jimmy Butler next up on the list. So give him that player option. There we go. Max, I can offer him. Clay Thompson, definitely want to get him on the team. You know, I, I think I think I would actually take Clay over uh, Jimmy Butler right now. I think I would, yeah. And yeah, I'm good with that for right now. So, all right. Clay Thompson will accept a deal right now. We throw him in the offer, man. It says it's going to take me over, so uh, I think I got to renounce some rights here to get this done. Although people always say that's like an L for me. They always say I do that wrong, but I don't really understand it, man, because, like, yeah, him can be gone. Emmanuel Moutier, gone. Um, gone. Gone, 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 gone. But, yeah, it doesn't actually, like, do anything for the actual, like, cap out. Oh, no, it does. It does. Okay, so we got him on the team. People always tell me it doesn't do anything. Okay, so renounce the rights on those guys. Now we can get Klay Thompson on the team. Kyrie to the Boston Celtics. Jimmy Butler to the Timberwolves. Okay, so when everything's said and done, we ended up with Klay Thompson. That's actually fine. I have a plan now, man. I have a plan going into this. Okay, so um, if we wanted to, we could go for a guy like Kemba Walker. Yo, let me get out of the moratorium period, though, so I can actually, like, you know, see some more things out there. Okay, so that's fine. Kemba Walker's still available. If I go for him, then I would use Frank Nilkeen off the bench. And, uh, you know, by the time that Kemba Walker's contract is up, Franklin Lakina would be entering his NBA Prime. So that's a nice little thought right there for us. Um, okay, so that's going to take me over. Yo, what if I do this? Renounce on Ennis and Trey Burke. Sign Kemba Walker. Okay. Next up, I am going to throw Chris Tops Porzingis a big time offer just because I think he's that type of player. Um, so, yeah, this man going to get a lot of money from me, man. He's going to get a lot of money. I'm going to give him about, about that right there. Max, I can offer him. He wants that. It's about $145 million per season. Sign him up. Okay, so all of a sudden, the vision of this team is looking a lot better. We are definitely a championship contending team, if you ask me. Uh, Hazonja, they asked way too much money for who he is out there now. Ish Smith, uh, don't need him really at all. Robin Lopez, no. We got some backups out there. Gerald Green, be a nice backup small forward to say the least. So we'll throw him a contract. He'll, he'll sign that up. Okay, besides for that... Can't really see anything else I want to do this specific season. Things are looking really good for us. Uh, Wayne Ellington, he's just one of those players you want to have on your team. So I'm going to give him like a two-year deal, actually. I like Wayne Ellington a lot. Give him that, see if he signs that. If he does, all right, man, let's go ahead. I'm going to do some player training camps and uh, simulate to the beginning of the next NBA season. Okay, so this is what the team looks like going into the second season. It's so much better than the last year. We got this new all-star backcourt in Kemba Walker and Klay Thompson. We got RJ Bear actually staying at his natural small forward position. Uh, Kevin Knox is going to power forward, and we are going to use Chris Thomas Porzingis as center. The floor spacing of this team is absolutely unbelievable. But then you get to the bench. Like, Nilly Kino off the bench is going to be clutch for us, man. Getting about 26 minutes per game. Can play point guard, shooting guard. Could probably even D up some small forwards at times if they're more, like, undersized guys. I uh, got Jordan Bell at power forward. He's 80 overall. Now we got Wayne Ellington and Mitchell Robinson to uh, round out our nine-man rotation. Then we got some veteran players out there, too. You know, just in case some of the other guys fall out. Um... I don't know, man. In my opinion, this team could win a championship. It might be like a season or two of development to really get to that point that we want to get to, man. But this is definitely an amazing start for us. So let's go ahead and simulate this second season and see just how good this new look New York Knicks team can really do. Okay, so a record of 44 and 37, which is good for fifth place in the Eastern Conference. I mean, the Eastern Conference for the most part is pretty close here. Um, that does make sense. So, you know, Chris Stop's coming back from injury, and we still got some really young players on this team. So Definitely not think we're going to win the championship quite yet. Um, Stephen Curry MVP, RJ Barrett, rookie of the year. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, uh, 1.5 steals per game shot, 36% from 3. I was hoping a little bit higher than that, but that's definitely a really good start. Um, so, yeah, man. So, All-NBA first team, All-NBA second, and the All-NBA third. Here are the rest of the stats real quick for you guys to see. All right, let's check out these team and player stats on the season. So, team stats, um, offensively, looks like we were... Wow, we were actually the second best offensive team in the NBA. It was defense that we kind of struggled at, surprisingly, actually, because, I mean, Klay Thompson, good defender. Kevin Knox, I think, has what it takes. Frank Nilekina off the bench. Um, not sure how R.J. Barrett is. Chris Hopps has center. I can see where that could be kind of a liability, but he's even a pretty good shot blocker, though. So you think that would actually help him to be more, like, anchored in the paint. Uh, player stats, though. So Klay Thompson had 19 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. So, we had a lot of really good scoring on this team. Like, just a lot of, uh, like, everybody out there, man. Just um, really balanced. Uh, 19 and 10 rebounds, 3 assists for Chris Hopps. And about, you know, 2.5, you know, about 3 blocks per game. So, I don't know how this team struggles so much defensively. Kemba Walker, really good uh, point guard stats. R.J. Barrett, Kevin Knox, Frank Nilakina. Not going to lie, though, man. 
if a free agent comes along that I really do want, I could see myself trading away Kemba Walker because Frank Milikina, it's like his stats from when he started last season was not far off from what Kemba Walker did. So just something to think about with that. All right. First round of the playoffs, we do have the Milwaukee Bucks. So see how this goes. Simulate current round. And, well, okay, man. We beat him in a seven-game series. Very nice closeout game looking like this. 28-5 and five for Kemba Walker. 19-7-9 for uh, Clay Thompson. 14 for Nil Aquino. 13-11 for Kevin Knox. Porzingis at 9-7-3. Next up, the Toronto Raptors. Simulate current round. And... Yeah, I lost to them four games, too. They were the champions last NBA season. It makes sense, man. I don't think we were quite ready to beat them yet. So, uh, let's simulate the playoffs real quick here. And we got the uh, OKC Thunder beating the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, with Russell Westbrook getting the finals MVP. Okay, so NBA draft. Not going to worry about that this time around because we had a pretty damn good record. And I'm okay with the uh, computer just drafting in this case. So, yeah, rookie signings. We end up with Tyler Harrow. Uh, 72 overall is he uh yeah he is a shooting guard so definitely gonna sign him up vincius da siva interesting we also got mac mcclung who i do know who this is now because you guys all roasted me for not knowing who he was before i definitely know who he is now the man looked at his highlights team player option frank Nilikina, kevin knox mitchell robinson bring back all those players on that qualifying offers jordan bell yes um moratorium period Okay, so as far as players available, not really seeing anybody on this list that I want all too much. And even, like, from a money standpoint, I mean, negative $39 million. So, I guess we could focus maybe on, like, some bench. or But even, like, our bench is good, you know, man? So, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know how our team was so bad defensively. The only thing I can consider doing is, is, is either using RJ Barrett or Kevin Knox off the bench and getting more of a traditional, like, defensive oriented center but even guys available like Ennis Cantor no Dwight Howard no it's just not really where the NBA is anymore so I'm good with just like our players developing this next NBA season or during this offseason and just uh, going from there so let's go ahead guys I'm gonna do some training camps and hit up that beginning of the NBA season okay so here is the team going into this season I actually did put a uh, Tyler Harrow I believe no I'm gonna put him inside the G League with uh, McClung there so I do have to sign like another player before I can do that so looking at free agents uh, we have Danilo Gallinari at the age of 31 willing to come to this team on a $6.96 million one-year contract. Uh, I definitely cannot pass that up. I mean, he played for New York before. This is a team that drafted him originally. So, yeah, he's going to bring, like, some awesome floor spacing off our bench. Uh, so, yeah, I absolutely love the idea of that. And, yeah, man, that made the team so much better. I did not bring Jordan Bell back to this team just because of, like, spacing issues off the bench. So, yeah, Gallinari being 6'10". Pretty much just go out there and be Ryan Anderson and just be 6'10 and shoot three-pointers. But, yeah, man, so we got that going for us. Um, oh, yeah, let me put Harrow in the uh, G League real quick while we're at it. It's the whole reason why I did that in the first place. So, uh, yeah, we got him right there, Harrow. Um, assigned the G League, okay. So, those guys should hopefully become good role players next NBA season. So, this is the lineup here, guys. Uh, I'm going to say, like... Ken Walker, you got impressed from this season for me to really uh, keep you around. But besides for that, I'm going to go ahead and simulate this next NBA season. Take away these minutes from Bitch Ass 7 Turner. And uh, we're going to see just how good this team can really do. Okay, so a record of 47 34, which is fourth place in the Eastern Conference. I was hoping to be like a top three seed this time around. But once again, man, like outside of the Raptors, um, nobody's really dominating the Eastern Conference. So I think it's pretty much wide open. Besides for the Raptors, like I was saying, here are the awards for you guys to see real quick. Uh, none of our players on there all NBA first team. Yo, look at that. Damn, dude. Look at that Dallas Mavericks uh, backcourt. They can become that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. Just, yeah. <laughs> they, they are going to be down to, uh, dominating the entire NBA. Okay. Team player stats on the season. Team stats. Uh, Scoring-wise, looks like we were, once again, one of the top scoring teams in the NBA. And then defensively, looks like we were... I don't know, man. Probably about me. Yeah, uh, middle of the road there, so that's fine. Player stats. RJ Barrett, uh, the leading scorer of this team now, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Porzingis at 18 points, 9 rebounds. I wish he would give to, like, a 20-point-per-game score at least. Clay Thompson, a little disappointed with his scoring out there. Might have to, like, mess with these guys, like, tendencies, make them shoot a bit more. Kevin Knox, good all-around numbers. Kemba Walker, 14 points, 6 assists. Yeah, I think he's going to be traded, guys. I don't know who for exactly because I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, Kevin Knox, unfortunately, might need to become a six-man. I don't want to do that, though, because he's so freaking good. So, I don't know. Like, something's going to have to change here, though. We also got Harrow at 78 overall, McClung at 76. So, both those guys will be in the lineup next season. Okay, so here we go. If there's going to be next season, so no, then we actually win the championship. All right, man. First round, we do have the Miami Heat. Simulate current round here. And... 
got them four games to two i imagine we're probably going to lose here to the toronto raptors hopefully not folks simulate current round and Okay, look at that, man. We beat him four games, too. All right, man. Yo, we might actually win the championship this season. We might actually win the championship. All right. I mean, that happens. I'll be happy. Uh, because, you know, OKC makes me a little uh, nervous, though. Cleveland Cavaliers, similar current round. Got them four games to zero. We have the Phoenix Suns, guys. The two forward seeds are in the NBA Finals. This might very well be the end of the rebuild, guys. We might be able to get this done. Simulate current round. And just like that, guys. And like what? Like the third or fourth season... We end up winning the NBA championship. Chris Topps, Porzingis, your finals MVP. Um, really, it just came down to, you know, developing the guys out there, getting our big-name free agents, and everything kind of fit together nicely there. Um, but really, really, man, like the balance of this team, absolutely phenomenal. Low-key, you know what, man? How long is this video? How long is it? It's, it's, it's a little short. It's a little long. It's kind of like in that mix. I'm feeling one more season, guys. I'm sorry. I hope nobody complains about this, but I'm having fun with this rebuild. Uh, I'm doing one more season because I want to see what more I can do out there. My team is really just starting to develop. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm having fun. So one more season for me. Um, let's go ahead, though. Let's go uh, straight to rookie signings. Just, you know, do a little free agency, a little here, little this, little that, and see how one more season goes for us. Rookie signings um, looking like that. Get all those guys on the team. Why not? Team player option. Get all those guys back. And I think, like, money-wise, uh, I don't think there's, like, any, like, guys that we need to really sign back all that much. Uh, maybe there is i'm not thinking about and they're gonna get hurt feelings and just leave the team now but no man no bird rights so we're pretty much good to go um yo with scotty pippen jr 40 overall god damn baby this might this might be freaking bitch ass monroe's great grandpa 59 44 overall wow dude okay yeah i don't care about all that um let's go i guess i guess what i'll do man is i'm just gonna go ahead and hit up the nba season Okay, so I came across this trade with the Brooklyn Nets. We do have to trade away Kemba Walker and a second-round draft pick. I'm also going to toss in a first-round draft pick. I feel like that would be worth it. Um, in return, we get D'Angelo Russell. Definitely more of a scoring-focused point guard. Uh, hopefully, he helps with that, man. Because, like I said, I'm trying to get, like, at least, like, a 20-point-per-game score around the team. So, I'm going to give them also a first-round draft pick. And we are going to get D'Lo on this team. But, what, what, what's, what, what's this, man? No, no, now y'all... Wait, wait, I give you guys a first round. Now y'all bitch asses are asking for more? That's all right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Yo, welcome to Team D-Lo. All right. So, how do I want to handle this now? Things about to get crazy here, man. Things about to get crazy. Like, actually not really that crazy because really you just put D-Lo in the uh, starting point guard. Now that we got 490 pluses on the team, Frank Nilekina sold the bench to the 84 overall. Uh, not going to mess too much with the lineup right here. We got all of our, all you guys out there. McClung, I'm probably going to not put him at all because... We don't really need them. I mean, we got an eight-man lineup that I'm pretty much good with. You know, play all of our main starters here a lot. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, a little bit there, a little bit of that. You know what, man? I'm, I'm going to give him a few minutes, man. Mac, Mac McClung, we'll give you a few minutes to play. Six minutes per game. How about that? All right, man. Here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this. Probably final NBA season. See if we can go back-to-back -back, win another NBA championship. Okay, so a record of 53 and 28 on the season, man. We got one more game against the Toronto Raptors. Simulate through day, finish the W against them. Things are looking amazing. We got Giannis MVP, Isaiah Todd, Rookie of the Year, Bobo Bo as six man, Giannis the defense player, Zaire Smith, most improved, and Jeff Hornacek as coach of the year for the Chicago Bulls. All NBA first team, all NBA second. No New York Knicks, man. All NBA third. God damn. Not a single one. All right. Team player stats. Let's get it. Team stats. Points per game wise, uh, we kind of went down in that department. I don't, I don't know why. Damn, dude. Oh, yeah, we went down. God damn. Twenty second in the NBA. Uh, luckily we are better defensively though. Player stats: we got Clay Thompson at nineteen points, four rebounds, four assists. RJ Barrett doing his thing with a good all round stats. Chris Porzingis, seventeen points, eight rebounds. I don't know, man. He playing like a freaking third option out there. Maybe he is at this point. Uh, we got Kevin Knox at sixteen, eight rebounds, and four assists. I love Kevin Knox's rebounding. Like that's big time for him. Uh, Frank Nilakina out there actually playing better than D'Lo. I should have just gave that starting point guard spot to Frank Nilakina. Yo, D'Lo, you playing like a freaking D bitch ass. I don't know. I don't got nothing there. There was no joke to be made. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, you know what, man? You know what, Frank Nilakina? You don't get the starting spot. You don't get his minutes too, man, because you playing like a beast. There you go, man. You get that. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go. Uh, first round of the playoffs, Toronto Raptors, similar current round. And got them four games to zero. Close out game looking like this. 22 for Clay Thompson, 16 and 6 for Barrett. Next up, 76ers, similar current round. 
Got him seven games. I, got, I, I, I was about to start blaming Frank Milikina for that starting spot. So, yo, you're going back to the freaking bench for that one. 36 for Clay, 24 for Barrich. Now, D'Lo wanted to play like the freaking superstar. 20 and 6 for him. All right, I'm very confused. Simulate current round Cavaliers. I should have just ended last season. Man. I should have just ended last season on a freaking good note, man. It's all good. You know, we still won the one championship. That was the point of this. I know, guys, I don't normally go beyond one, but I wanted to. I was having a lot of fun with this rebuild. Hope you guys all enjoyed it, though. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Let me know in the comment section which team I should do next. And peace out, my friend.